the glory of these forty days. We celebrate with songs of praise for Christ through whom all things were made. Himself has fasted and has prayed. Alone and fasting Moses saw the loving God who gave the law and to Elijah fasting came the steeds of chariots of flame. So Daniel trained his mystic sight, delivered from the lion's might, and John the bridegroom's friend became the herald of Messiah's name. Then grant, O Lord, that we may to return in past and prayer to you. Our spirit strengthen you with grace and give us joy to see your face. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves as we celebrate in these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May the Lord forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who will your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you may drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to obtain the grace of the resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue, that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that would rouse them. Morning after morning he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back, back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard, my face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near, who upholds my right, if anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him comfort me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The gospel, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons, because zeal for your house consumes me, 
and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Insult has broken my heart and I am weak. I look for sympathy, but there is none. For counselors, no one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See your lowly ones and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds, he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our errors. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to one another, To him, one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had not been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It seems that everything is now prepared. Jesus, knowing full well what is going to happen, he is aware that his time has approached, and it is here. It will be a time of great deceit, a time of betrayal, a time of judgment, and to think that the one that they judged is truly the judge of the world. We are now entering, beginning tomorrow, into what we call the sacred triduum, or the paschal triduum, those sacred three days. And they really begin tomorrow evening with the Mass of the Lord's Supper. And you know what might be very interesting for us to see is that the sacred triduum, which is Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and the Easter Vigil. They are really one large liturgy. So we begin Thursday evening with the sign of the cross, and then we won't use it again until the Easter Vigil with the final blessing. So that those three huge liturgies are really just one. And 
Holy Thursday, the Lord gives us that gift of the Last Supper. On Good Friday, he opens his arms on the cross for our love, for our salvation. <clears throat> and on the Holy Saturday evening, in the middle of the night, we celebrate the resurrection, the anticipation of his resurrection and of him coming, Jesus coming to dispel the darkness of the world. And so as I tried to mention before, <clears throat> Our recordings, <clears throat> excuse me, will be a little bit different during these sacred three days because it's very difficult to record something before it actually happens. And so we decided that instead we're going to try to live stream, which means that it would be live. So that begins the Mass of the Lord's Supper on Thursday evening at 7.30 p.m. The celebration of the Lord's Passion on Friday evening at 7.30 p.m. And the same with the Easter Vigil at 7.30 p.m. So you won't be able to watch anything before 7.30 p.m. on those three days. You can watch it live and you can watch it later. And the same is true for Easter Sunday. We will, re we will live stream the 9.30 a.m. Mass on Easter Sunday. It is this great triduum that we enter into. And if you cannot come to be with us physically, please watch virtually. And to know that the church is united by Jesus. And it is Jesus' passion, death, and resurrection that have set us free. Let us place our needs today before God, for we pray for the church throughout the world that she may preach the gospel with courage, with strength, with conviction. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our world leaders that they will seek the common good for all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our nation, that we may be a people who are dedicated to human life. From the moment of conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for ourselves as we enter into the sacred triduum, that we may be prepared to participate in the saving mysteries that bring salvation to the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, the lonely, the oppressed, the fearful and the anxious. We pray for those who will spend Easter alone this year, that they may know the healing touch and the presence of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died. May they be welcomed into the glory of heaven. We pray especially for those who will die during these sacred days, that the Lord may welcome them into his kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all your needs, all your intentions that we bring to the Lord in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, God of mercy, God of compassion. As we enter into these sacred mysteries, these sacred days, we ask you to fill our hearts with a burning love and gratitude to your Son. We ask you also to hear the needs that we have placed before you, not only those that we speak aloud, but those that are in the silence of our hearts. We ask you to grant them if they are your will, for they are made in the name of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
and pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise, the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here, and graciously grant that celebrating your Son's passion and mystery, we may experience the grace of its effect. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Blaise our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the way of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. And so, friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as ransom for the many. And let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament, and I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Endow us, Almighty God, with the firm conviction that through your Son's death and time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord amen and just a reminder the church does not celebrate mass in the morning of Holy Thursday mass is not celebrated at all on Good Friday and neither on Holy Saturday morning so the only mass that we will have tomorrow will be the evening mass at 730 however there will be morning prayer which comes from the liturgy of the hours will be posted on our website. The same with Good Friday and Holy Saturday morning. The Lord be with you. I invite you to bow your heads and to pray for God's blessing. Grant your faithful, O Lord, we pray, to partake unceasingly of the Paschal Mysteries and to await with longing the gifts to come, that persevering in the sacraments of their rebirth, they may be led by Lenten works to the newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord. Oh, 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 oh. sometimes
times it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble.